Hello guys and welcome back. This is Play of the J here and uh, we are about to get started with our final round of the evening. So we are playing one more round on Miramar, first person perspective for the PUBG Southeast Asia Scrim City matches. So uh, we did see some good games so far. Uh, I think in the first round we did actually see RRQ take the chicken dinner followed by Resurgence. Then in the last game, uh, we did actually see that Ronin was able to really control their zone and really push when they needed to, taking out uh, dogs in the process. Um, so I do apologize. Apparently, squad number seven was uh, dogs for this evening. So um, yeah, unfortunately, the team list wasn't updated to, to reflect this. So uh, I do apologize. But yes, it was dogs that was playing as squad number seven for all of this game. So um, yep, we do have this last game coming in for you and um Mineski did take the second place there as legacy was really trying to be clutch as he could but it wasn't able to take out the final player from uh ronin in that game so a little bit unfortunate there but um uh, let's see how they do in this next game it's uh it was an interesting circle it was a los leones uh base circle and uh anything can happen in PUBG, as you know so really looking forward to seeing how things are going to turn out in this final game so guys, I do apologize. I think there is a, a little bit of a stutter on the stream. Uh, it's not on my game side, so um, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, hopefully that won't stop us from getting too much into the action. So looking at how things are going to start for this uh, final round here for uh, Miramar, it is going to be a uh, plane from the western side all the way up to Kempo Militar. So a little bit of diversity there in terms of the, the flight path here. So we should be in for some interesting maneuvers. Now a reminder that these are some of the top teams here in, uh, in uh, Southeast Asia. So it's going to be interesting to see how they shape up here. Now... Um, just as a reminder for the stream schedule, uh, I will not be streaming this weekend uh, on my Twitch or Facebook page. Uh, I will be um, taking part in the PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship 2018. There's second qualifiers going on um, Saturday, Sunday. So uh, do come and stay, uh, come and watch it. Uh, it will be broadcasted live on the Geek Events or Geek, yeah, Geek Events uh, Facebook page. So. Do give them a like to see when they go live. Resurgence going down to Valley Del Mar, and they're here with Arrowwolf, as well as um, Team Snow Templar here. And uh, we see that uh, Leander and and some of the the other players here from uh, Ronin are going to Chumachera, so they're going to be sharing the spoils a little bit. On Un under W Club going to Picado here, they did have that success last game, and no teams opting to go there. And we have Gummy Sports Yellow here sharing. Um, El Pozo together with uh, Team Capcorn. Now uh, in San Martin, uh, we see that uh, Mineski going back to their tried and trusted uh, methods here. But now looking at the circle, it's all the way in the southwest side of the map here. So all these teams are going to be pretty happy with that turn of events here. But things could get dicey here in Chumachera. As we already see Jatsu here able to get the headshot onto uh, two of the players here as they try to escape here in the vehicle. Leaving only Fidox here by himself. But can Jatsu get the third guy? And he can. So excellent three packs from Jatsu coming out there as he's decimating Frostfire here. So Frostfire in a lot of trouble. Only uh, Elliot left alive here for them. So he's going to try and do the best he can. But... That, that was some great play from uh, uh, Ronan there as they're able to prevent those vehicles from being taken away. So Elliot going to lick his wounds and um, get out of there ASAP. Now elsewhere in La Cabrera, uh, this is going to be MBT. Uh, in the northeastern side, we have Battle Arena Elites here a little bit spread out. Uh, there is Team Extents from Singapore here in Al Azhar. Uh, and uh, Cruz de Vale is going to be occupied by dogs here at the moment. So uh, now we will be looking at uh, how these other teams are going to fare here. Um, now there is going to be also squad 18 here, L Dogs, the brown team. Um, there's going to be Orion Ritter here also in the Hacienda uh, section here. And um, there are a lot of uh, players here in close proximity. So Chan Chan here going to bug out a little bit here. I'm not sure whether he knows that Hechi Bert is actually here for Orion and um, he's going to just bug out a little bit more here. So, Cedric, thank you very much for the follow, man. Really appreciate it. 
And uh, yeah, anyone watching, I really appreciate all the followers that you have on the channel so far. Um, and uh, I'm looking to bring you uh, more competitive PUBG action in the future. So just stay tuned. And um, I will be returning with my streams on Tuesday and Wednesday. So uh, that's going to be the Battle Arena scrims. And likely Thursday will be Scrim City yet again. But now back to the game. We are in San Martin at the moment. So right now we have uh, three of the players here for Team BMW um, uh, taking up the central positions here. So it's going to force uh, Mineski away a little bit. Mineski is uh, uh, surrounding this whole area here. So they are going to be um, doing their own thing for the time being. And um, now we are even see GUM Esports here going further north here after they managed to secure enough vehicles. But looks like um, Ye is going to go down for DTYZ. So not not the best of uh, starts that he would have hoped for. But it looks like Battle Arena at least um, rotating very close to CJ and the rest of Dogs here. And now Loki's and uh, and company are going to bug out of there. They're go they are going to avoid uh, some of the fire that's going to go on here. So... Uh, they are going to meet up. They are four, four men strong uh, again, uh, but they are in this region which is currently very congested with other teams. So the teams here have to be very careful with uh, how they plan their rotations here. So BAE going to make their way further here. They have got four vehicles, but they're running right past uh, the team members from uh, L Dogs as well as Orion Ritter here as um, they are pushing it right across the field here and just stay alive. For the time being as they try and get that early rotation in here given the distance that is involved here as uh, there are still a lot of spots actually to occupy here but uh, i would say that um chumachera and valley del mar does offer a lot of uh, benefits to resurgence as well as uh, uh ronin here in this stage of the game but now we see that in uh san martin actually things are heating up a little bit we see that uh team bmw putting some shots onto uh, Mineski here as they knock down Legacy here, but Voidless going for uh, the kill here as uh, Grissom might be able to catch these players uh, in rotation here and uh, trying to finish off the kill. And it looks like Moshi Jason here will meet his maker here by uh, Grissom here as he's able to put the hurt onto him and knock him down. Um, but Voidless will still be up here. He's going to go and confirm the kill onto Legacy here. So Mineski likely going to be uh, one man down here in this game here if they try and save uh, their team member here. So now we will see that there is going to be uh, a lot of teams in close proximity in the central region of the map here as Burning is uh, quite close to um, the team members of uh, L Dogs as they also take a lot of fire from, the, from further away. But uh, there is going to be Hetchy Burt and OG Philip who's advancing on this position for Orion Ritter. And that could actually throw a spanner in the works to a certain extent. D-Bird, D-Bit, sorry. Um, just trying to get whatever vision that he can in this, uh, at this present moment in time. But now uh, Mineski as well as the, the Team BMW here going a bit head-to-head. -head. Grism forced to go all the way to the roof here as he tries to escape the oncoming push. Um, there's only one player, U-Star. Voidless is also trying to direct his attention uh, on the northern side of San Martin, but uh, currently Ace is uh, trying to be a bit more stealthy, going past the ice cream truck, truck as he looks to try and support Grizzom as best he can. Azarino is on the high ground um, just to the northwest, so he won't be able to help directly so much you know, in this uh, particular fight. But we see that Orion uh, Ritter here is starting to engage further, but they're not having such a fantastic time. Burning able to get um, his kill but it looks like uh, OG Philip will get knocked down here and um, Chan Chan should be able to confirm the kill. But Hetchy Burt is on the northern side of the compound here and he will start moving in once he starts to figure out where these players are. But Chan Chan just trying to confirm with that VSS that he has available to him. Now other teams are making their way over. Airwolf very close to GUM Esports here as uh, Nemo will enter off, uh, will have to be a bit mindful of the situation here. So Chance is going to confirm that kill here. And now Entrov here, uh, just going to back out a little bit. I think he realizes the, the potential danger that uh, awaits him here. As, of course, we do have uh, the full squad here from GUM Esports Yellow from Vietnam. Uh, so they're going to force him away. I think they're going to hear the vehicle and try and see what kind of shots that they can get in this particular instance here. But it looks as though that it should be quite a smooth getaway here, given the kind of terrain that he has on his side. Under W Club, still in Picado here, as uh, they're not making their move just yet. But now, 
things are heating up as uh, we do see that uh, Grizzom gets knocked down by Ustar. And Ustar uh, jumps off the building, in fact. And uh, now he's going to go back upstairs and uh, potentially fin finish off the, the kill here. But he's going to do a little bit of healing first. But Voila is now putting pressure onto Ace here. Uh, and a little bit of a long, longish range battle here. Uh, not sure whether or not uh, either player is going to be able to get the better of one another, but Voila is going to throw the smoke towards Ace and make it difficult for him to hear any potential advantage here. But now Voila sees the, the kind of transition coming out from Ace. Ace is going to try and pop some boosters here as he tries to maneuver around. But now it looks like Ustar is also coming in to try and finish off Ace and looks like he's able to knock him down and that should be... Um, quite detrimental for Mineski Azzarino has made his way all the way from the high ground and looks to try and get Grizzom up but uh, yeah he's uh, he should be successful here as Ustar and Voidless are not in the position to actually take the fight here but now it looks like Entrov here going to stop for a little bit in this compound and uh, now he's got uh, Pika and Trutam who might actually make it a little bit interesting here if he can actually um, if they can actually maneuver themselves because uh, Entrop is all alone by himself for Arrowwolf here and uh, really runs the risk of um, facing against these uh, this duo that Gum Esports Yellow has got here. But now Pika has got the ball in his court here as he's able to knock down Entrop and it looks like that's going to be it for him. So Arrowwolf down uh, a player here. There's only Kaito Kato that's uh, still up here. But now Grizzop is back up here as him and Azarino able to knock down Voidless here. And uh, Ustar will be the only player left here of four team BMW. Now he's just trying to see whether or not there's going to be peak coming. But Azarino is going to chuck out the, the nade. Oh, it is just a flashbang after all. And uh, oh, Azarino able to get him as he peeks around the corner there. So that's going to be it for Team DM BMW as they go out in the 18th position here. So Mineski going to lick their wounds a little bit here after facing that fight. But now it looks as though this prolonged engagement here between L Dogs and um, and Orion Ritter is still ongoing here as uh, Burning and uh, Vinny not going to let them go get away scot free here after uh, taking out one of their team members and Chan Chan. Looks as though that he's going to go down here after Burning is going to try and... Uh, oh, Burning is actually just focusing on D-Bid here and able to get a, a nice connection there. Chan Chan looks as though that he's going to be stuck in the water without a boat and um, that might be it for him. Now, Blue Zone is encroaching already, guys, and um, looks like phase number one is almost ready to, to complete at the moment. Uh, so that could be interesting to see. Um, all these teams in the blue, how long they're going to stay here? Of course, this is the last game in, of the evening, and usually that means that you might see like um, more aggressive stuff than you might be accustomed to, you know. Uh, of course, there is a point system here, but at the end of the day, this is still very much a forum for these pro teams that actually practice a little bit against some of the best in the region here. So um, Scrim City it does happen every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, guys. So... Um, Make sure that you like the page and uh, keep uh, abreast of when they will next have a, a live stream for it. So personally, I will only be doing it um, maybe next Thursday if I can. Um, but now looks at, looking at the circle here, it has shifted all the way here to the western side. Now other teams are posturing themselves. Resurgence are still in a good position, but they're a little bit separated. But the team members from Snow Templar have managed to reconvene here. And now others are going to have to start making their way over here as well. Now we already see that... Uh, BAE is also moving into this area as well. Currently on the low ground by the church, there is going to be the three resurgence players. As, uh, I think one of the vehicles actually rolled off the hill there. As we see the team players from uh, Snow Templar currently getting good field of vision there. While Aeon WCS, um, the fourth resurgence player, is further on the high ground as he looks to try and um, get as much information as he can and relay that to his teammates so that they can plan out what is going to be their next moves. Now, we already see that um, Cheesy Kimbap and the and the rest of Ronin here are making their way down this road here. They might run straight into um, BAE here and they are all scaling the hill. So question is whether one of these teams is going to actually make a stop here to actually try and prevent um, the other from moving here. But it looks like Ronin should be able to get away just easily here as we will see that the team members from uh, BAE are just continuing on their climb up the hill as they search for those uh, central 
positions here. There are more compounds on this side than um, this, and uh, probably easier to get to. But now Burning looks like he's in trouble here for Orion Ritter here, as Vinny has to leave him alone, um, as uh, he cannot contend with the L Dogs uh, last two players here for much longer. Uh, Mineski also bugging out relatively late here as well. So um, it's going to be interesting. Gum Esports has a very good position in the circle. They're looking pretty strong in this game here. Um, now have to see whether or not they can hold that position long enough. We saw in the last game, of course, that they they were holding that central position in the circle as well for a long part. But then Dogs was able to really push up onto them and make things difficult. So under W Club being finished off by Team Vengeance here as they go out in uh, 17th position. But now the three players here from um, Stone Templar will be able to cover quite a large amount of ground here as the, they look to control the, the map area as much as they can. Of course, the flip side of that is going to be that um, you're going to attract a lot of attention, but there are going to be the benefits there. If you can force other teams to fight each other, then that is exactly what you want in this Battle Royale game. So now we will see that BAE is going to start bugging out here as they try to reposition themselves a little bit further away from a lot of the trouble here. And we see Squad once, uh, squad extends here, trying to advance onto the western side here, onto the next high ground. And currently, Gum Esports is still very much further away. So they don't have to worry about it too much in terms of uh, whether or not they're going to run into more teams. But they do have a lone arrow wolf player, squad number four, who is in close proximity. Now, others are going to make their way over. Vengeance is still in Picado here. So um, they're going to have to make their move soon. Otherwise, they're going to be in quite a bit of trouble. But otherwise, uh, we already see that um, dogs here making their way along the western edge here after um, coming down all the way from the northern side. And uh, looks like Elliot is going to run straight into the players here as Mad Dog is going to open up here and try and finish off uh, Frostfire, who uh, had a, a bad rotation earlier on. And or no, they tr they were um, in Chumachera uh, together with Ronin for. A, the start of the game but Jatsu was able to get a monstrous three packs with this uh, M24 but Mad Dog not able to use his M24 as proficiently in this instance here as Elliot is trying to get away as best as he can and looks like he should be uh, fast enough but his car is burning here he's had to abandon his vehicle as he takes a uh, up position by the tree there and um, not looking too fantastic uh, from this position as CJ is looking to get a flanking position higher up on the western side. And Elliot is forced to run again. And uh, that's going to be it as CJ finishes him off with the SKS. Now, Dogs does have control on uh, the northern side of the circle here. As uh, we see that it has shifted uh, even more towards the northwest here. And uh, all this impassable terrain is limiting the play area substantially here and making it increasingly difficult. Now we're seeing problems for L Dogs here after they are running out of meds here after that prolonged engagement with Orion Ritter. And um, they're probably going to meet there and pretty soon here. And Vinny will be the last player here. And he might actually catch some of these other teams in rotation here if um, they're coming out of the blue. But it looks like Alan Lambu going to try and. Uh, Goes straight for the compound here, and he pops out, but unfortunately he gets picked off by Vinny here. And Vinny gonna grab uh, another, well, his first kill of the game here, as uh, Vengeance will have to divert their uh, attention elsewhere. But Gum Esports Yellow here, uh, starting to make their presence more felt here, as they have a little bit of a 2-2 split going on here, and trying to put more fire on as they try and cover more area of the center of the circle. But now, it looks like MBT here is starting to move in from the northern side here, uh, towards the, the players from Mista, as Mista now will be looking to try and uh, uh, just defend this position. They do have a bit of high ground, they have a number of vehicles at their disposal, so it should be pretty good for them in the coming turns here. But now we already see Resurgence is on the move here as they vacate that uh, church that they've been occupying for the last couple of circles. They are moving closer onto this uh, western region here as we see that the teams are getting very numerous in this particular zone of the map. And um, that could be a little bit tricky here as uh, we see how things are going to be developing here. Now, um, elsewhere, we will be seeing from the northern side, this is going to be Team Capcorn. They are moving in. They are facing a little bit of pressure from CJ and Mad Dog. As they are trying to put um, a little bit of pressure back onto them and not let them get into the circle for free. So far, Dog's a little bit quiet in this game. They've only had one kill to the name, but we know that they have the quality to, to be able to 
stomp the competition here as they are one of the stronger uh, contenders or consistent performers rather um, for these Crim City games. Now Railgun and there are a little bit of problems here as Azzarino able to finish uh, or rather knock him down there with the headshot and uh, he's gonna look to try and confirm the kill here and uh, should be good for it. So Azzarino for Mineski able to chuck one up and he got has three kills so far to him himself. But now we see Vengeance here under more problems here as uh, Maktu here uh, just trying to put a bit more pressure onto this rotation, but he's running straight into Battle Arena Elites here, and Mock's gonna go down here after Loki's able to catch him out of the vehicle there. So now BAE also not inside the zone here. They're gonna have to move pretty fast here, to otherwise they're gonna face a lot of trouble um, trying to force their way into the circle here. Makto here just trying to put the hurt onto them as they are taking a lot of damage here, but looks like Chiawe able to come up big and get the headshot on a Makto, but Loki's goes down here as a uh, Neskosar here, able to put some good fire from the high ground, but he's not able to see um, some of the players too easily given the, the opacity of the circle these days, and he goes down, so leaving um, only Hax as the, the last player up for Team uh, Snow Templar. And now it looks as though he's priming the nade. He's expecting the uh, kill, the push to come in. Loki's goes down here as um, he expires in the blue zone. Um, or, or taking too much damage, but looks like Chao Wei able to spot him out from the high ground and he picks up a couple of kills for BAE. So now things are heating up and look at the number of teams in the circle, guys. And uh, it's going to be increasingly difficult for all these teams to uh, coexist together here. You have to do or die so to speak at this point in time as uh, there are no more compounds that are left to be taken here okay there are a few buildings here and there but uh, for the most part given the high ground advantage that some of these teams have it's increasingly difficult Arrow Wolf having to resort to stay on the edge of the circle here Gummy Sports still four men up here in the center as they look to try and put more pressure onto uh, Mineski who are currently in the on, up on the hill. I'm not sure that True Tamu is going to be able to hit anything at that range given the, the fact that the Maneski guys are just playing very conservatively. They're not peaking a lot here. They don't need to peak. And the problem here is if you do peak, you run the risk of just getting a headshot by one of the, the bolt action sniper rifles and you're not going to be able to find another helmet here. So these teams just trying to preserve their longevity moving forward. But now we already see that uh, MBT here managing to move inside the circle here. And a lot of these teams just trying to manage their situation here. But now we already see that the there's going to be that rotation coming in here from the uh, from the team Capcorn guys. Uh, but luckily for them, they don't have too many teams looking at their position here. As that one vehicle exploding could ruin their whole day. And we see that all the time here. So, um, well, luckily for them... Everyone is too busy shooting at each other, but dogs here and um, on the still on the the western side here, but now to the northwest of this current circle. But now resurgence also facing a lot of uh, pressure at the moment as uh, MBT is advancing on the position, and they do also have uh, very close by in the the compound just to their northwest, the position occupied by Mista. So Mista. Uh, doing their own part to uh, actually rain down on everyone else into the low grounds but Asmix looks as though he wants to press the issue here as he advances on this position um, now if he can get a good nade off here he can be um, feeling pretty good uh, with uh, pushing up this hill to further extent and uh, looks as though Resurgence is backing off a little bit here and see whether Asmix can catch them out in the open here as uh, he decides not to take the shot here opting for a clearer shot here before Kasake and the rest of Resurgence starts popping up over uh, any terrain that they decide. But Asmix a bit too far from his teammates, so he's gonna bug out a little bit. But if he can catch the, the players here unawares, and it looks as though he's not able to connect with the car 98 in that instance here, as he looks for the rest of uh, Resurgence here. But now we will be seeing the rest of MBT starting to move down to try and support him. Asmix taking uh, a couple hits there, so he's gonna try and bug out and get the heal off a little bit. Now, the rest of the, the scene, we see here that uh, BAE pushing into this compound occupied by uh, Mineski here. They take down Azarino, but uh, looks like uh, Batman gonna try and see whether he can finish this one as uh, he tries to press the issue. But Chiawe will be getting Mystery K up here. 
So now Batman just going to try and gather a little bit of information where Grizzom, the last player from Neski, is going to be. But now it looks like things are uh, converging over here as MBT are trying to push up this hill, uh, currently occupied by uh, RSG. And looking at the spread here, it's going to be interesting to see how this fight uh, develops here. Tyler and Asmix going for the, the high ground flank here. And they might be able to catch Brax unawares. And uh, he takes a few hits himself and uh, looks like... Oh, Batman not able to take down Grissom here, but Tyler able to take down Quadro himself. Brax in a lot of trouble here. Kasake is the last player left for a resurgence here as Nobby and Rexon are pushing along the that, uh, edge of the circle here. But Kasake really going all the way out of the, the way to try and um, come out with it. But now it looks as though that's going to be it for resurgence as uh, Rexon able to get that final knocked down onto them so nice maneuver from mbt there in that instance and uh looks like grizzom before this engagement was eliminated um uh, by the players from battle arena elite so now we are down to 31 players alive and this is zone five the circle so this circle favoring most of the teams it's just mbt and um bae that has to be a bit mindful about their current situation here as they have to try and find out what's the best angle for them to hold now, Private Dumb here just trying to get a little bit of vision. He doesn't have a, a lot of information as to exactly where the Battle Arena Elite players are. Now, he is just trying to scope out the best that he can. They are not going to be inside the zone with that compound, so at least he knows that he can try and um, prevent them from moving in further. But now it looks as though the two Malaysian teams here going at it here as we see that the, the players from MBT are advancing on Battle Arena Elite. And um, looks like Tyler will be the furthest player forward here as he looks to try and get the drop on some of these players here. And um, now he is able to spot Mystery Pay and able to knock him down, but Xiaowei from behind able to offer enough fire. But now it looks like there's going to be some third party action as Mista looks to take down that final, um, get the final hit onto Tyler. But now it looks like Xiaowei is advancing further as he tries to stop further advancement here. But Asmix coming up with the headshot and he's able to take down Xiaowei. So leaving only Batman alone for Battle Arena leads as he tries to um, make do in this current situation. And he's able to get the return uh, headshot onto Asmix. So Asmix going down here. Batman not able to spot the, the player on his uh, um, right there. Uh, but he's just trying to do whatever he can in this situation and so he backs up a little bit. Tyler, Nobby and the rest of them are coming but Nobby able to get in his face and uh, that's going to be it for Battle Arena Elites as they go out in eighth, uh, ninth position. Sorry, And now we see GAM Esports in the center of the circle here. They have the dominant position in this particular zone so we have to see whether or not they can still retain that in the next circle. But Dogs here have been... Um, Putting a lot of pressure on the north here as uh, the team members from Team uh, Capcorn are just trying to stay alive on that ridge that they have available to them. Now, next zone is revealed and it looks like Dogs and uh, Gum Esports are going to be in very good positions here. Now, we already see that um, the team members of Ronin here are already on the move. Uh, just trying to get ahead as fast as they can. There's a lot of natural cover here available to them. The team members from uh, uh, Mista here now outside the circle they're trying to put some fire on but it looks as though that they have mbt to contend with who are just at the their rear and now the rest of the the teams here are going to have to try and maneuver the best they can gum esports still has that good compound they don't get a lot of vision on the western side just given the natural terrain that they have available but it's all about the hardcover you're going to want to prioritize that as we do, do see that dogs have managed to um group up together here as they try to fend off the this push coming in from the the team members of uh, team Capcorn. and now it looks like unexpected caught in a little bit unawares here as a uh, real left is pushing up on the left side here now cj just trying to also posture a little bit here as he tries to get a good view on some of these players here but yeah that does have to be careful but now momo g is backing up on the front lines here as he looks to prevent further advancement coming in from the rest of these uh players mad, mad dog is going to try and get the high ground advantage here but now it looks like the players from mbt are in a bit of bother here as they are trying to advance onto this position unexpected trying to do what he can here and it looks as though there's a few bit of third party action here as the um extends player is trying to get in but uh going to face a lot of issues here but in the northern side here, it looks like uh, they're holding fast here. Uh, the players from uh, 
Team Capcorn have a little bit of time available to them. But now, from the south side, everyone is going to make their have to make their move here. The team, team Mista, squad number 11 here, under a lot of pressure from MBT as well as Gun Esports as uh, they're trying to push in. Tyler trying to do what he can, but he's going to get caught out in the blue here. And that's going to be a little bit of a detrimental affair. And now we see the push coming in from the players of uh, Team Capcorn. But not able to do more than knock down Momonji and Dogs here. Looking strong here in the northern side of the circle. Now it is condensing here. And we see MPT here trying to duke it out with Mista here. As Nobby able to get a couple of knocks there. Leaving Fire Blaster as the last player. But he's trying to run in and uh, he's going to get picked off by the GUM esports team here. As they are putting up some long range fire. And Ronin here putting the finishing touches onto MBT here as they move in. So now we have three teams left guys and they are all full four man squads so it's going to be interesting to see how this one uh develops obviously dogs is going to be um feeling happy that they don't have uh too close of a proximity to some of these other teams here as uh now we get a good spread from ronin as they try and get a good angle on this compound now next circle is going to reveal itself and look for by the looks of it oh it's going to go the way of dogs here so dogs can they get their first win of the evening here and uh, now we already see that the gum esports team has already vacated this particular state part of the circle and uh going to try and see if they can spot out or get a good nade connection here but they are all a little bit off the mark here and not able to catch that rotation coming in along the western road but now we see that uh, dogs is repositioning themselves to prevent all these teams from getting in here and we should be in for an epic three-way battle here as uh, cj is gonna pop over the crest of the hill a little bit here momoji getting spotted out just a little bit here as the circle is already on the move pika getting knocked down by leander and uh Gum Esports uh, facing a little bit of a crossfire here as Unexpected and the rest of Dogs here starting to come up over the hill as they try and confirm the kill. And uh, th there is going to be more pressure here as uh, we see that the, the players from uh, Ronin are also trying to flank a little bit here. But now it looks like uh, Dogs here feels, uh, feels as though that they've done their job. Momonji and Mad Dog just going to bring up the rear here for the time being here as they pr try and prevent uh, any further encroachment over the top of the hill but now we see ronin here has dedicated more resources to fighting on the left side here and uh momonji is currently the only player that can have any vision here so cj on and unexpected just going to stay there and do the best they can jowie cute here bringing up the rear here as he looks to catch any of these other players going through here gummy sports down to three team team members but they are all pushing concertedly over to this uh other side here so mad dog Going to try and watch this flank as best that he can, but he sees all the team members here. He's able to knock down Kid straight away. And why so easy? So can he get True Time as well? He gets a three pack. So Mad Dog coming up big for Dogs there. And that was an amazing play from him. Now it's going to be um, Dogs with 10 kills on the board versus Ronin here. Our winners from the last round as Jowie Q goes down. Cheesy Kimbap is going to get the um, knockdown as well. CJ is down for Dogs as well. So right now it is going to be um, three players for um, uh, Ronin who are left up here as they try and take on uh, the Dogs. So um, Jowie Q will be rest by Cheesy Kimbap here. And uh, Momoji is the player only holding back in the, the, the back region here on the northern side of the circle. But now Unexpected is knocked out here and the question is whether or not he can safely get off the res here momonji able to knock down uh, leander there and jowie q getting knocked in the blue here so the push is coming here cheesy kimbap is coming over the top here he might be able to spot cj but he gets spotted by mad dog as well so mad dog coming up big there so now the, the tides are turning here as we see that cj and the rest of dogs here trying to come over the top but he gets knocked down as well so Momonji and Mad Dog going to try and finish off Jatsu here as they are spraying into the circle here. They're able to confirm the kill and Momonji will be able to get Jatsu as well through the smoke. So that's going to be Dogs returning to the summit so to speak here as they take their first chicken dinner of the evening here. And they turn out 13 kills to boot. They had a very quiet early game but they were controlling the northern side expertly and they prevented the push from Team Capcorn. And then the rest started to come itself when um, they had to fight in that three-way battle um, with the, the team members of Ronin as well as uh, Gum Esports Yellow. But Mad Dog coming out with the big play able to take all three players down from uh, Gum Esports Yellow as he was holding that um, 
that flank on the left side. So that was excellent play from him. And um, there was a bit of uh, uncertain tussle there at the end there. But I think the low ground did hurt uh, Ronin just a little bit. And they weren't able to contend. Momonji was in the rear providing a lot of fire support there. So it did look as though he was turning. But it looks as though that uh, Dog's able to uh, come out with it. So yeah, in second place, we did have uh, Team Ronin. So they were doing really well up to that point in time and i think they were really posturing well considering the the number of teams that were in that area as well but they were able to push gum esports away enough that um they actually had to go straight into dogs but dogs were more than willing to take up the slack in that sense but gum esports did manage to come out in third they did have a very good position in the circle and um, able to control the area effectively but of course they did have to move out of their comfort zone so to speak as uh, things did uh, reach a climax in those later circles and in fourth place we do have mbt who faced a lot of problems they ran into the end um the team ronin and uh after they were able to take down bae um, in those later stages, they weren't able to to get a little bit further from that, you know. So that was a bit unfortunate for for them, but they managed to make it into fourth position. And uh, yeah, that is gonna be it for tonight, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy the content, please do give uh, give the channel a follow, and you can be kept up to date of when I go uh, live with my live streams for scrim games in PUBG. so uh i hope you enjoy the content i apologize if there are some technical difficulties or some of the team names are not updated but i hope i've addressed that now and um, be making sure that the stream is smoother for the next time around so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed tonight's games have a good night